Hello there guys, here's Jumek with another uh, Battlefield Bad Company 2 commentary. Well this time it is uh, again something different. Uh, it's, a, it's a dual game uh, edit where I don't rack up kills. And the first part is us being destroyed by the other team. And not because of them um, you know, uh, being very aggressive. Quite the contrary, um, they um, make use of the vehicles and they are very laid back and while I edited, you know, most of it was a very long game, they do get the win by, you know, being sneaky little bastards. But uh, I have to, uh, these are not, uh, you know, vehicle whores, uh, such as myself, no, I, I, I don't do vehicles all that much either. Uh, but uh, these these guys, the, the, that Marco character and the other one with uh, this uh, German sounding uh, name, what was it? Um, I don't recall right now. Um, it's gonna be apparent. Um, so uh, I, I miss, a, miss a lot of 84 kills, they throw me out when I do hit. <laughs> I, I take them down above the, the objectives and arm it and they take me out because I'm just too aggressive. I don't look around, always expect my team to cover the stuff and they don't. And I'm being frustrated because um, we're getting some lag um, and especially my friend boss, he's been raging, I mean he's, he's having ridiculous KD, uh, you know, like going 40 to 2 and, and stuff like that, but when he goes uh, into my uh, my area, so it's like uh, 150 KD, he's always raging like a madman, and I was raging here too because the, the lag was really bad. And we get, you know, and then I switch to uh, Trace Dot, which I haven't used in ages, just to freaking... Um, Take them back because because they didn't even get to get a chance to use smoke. They probably do have it equipped. And I will be talking about um, you know piloting actually, and I will show you my piloting um, gameplay where I uh, do an excellent two to eight KD, but we do win in the same way that these guys win. Uh, the game filled up at the end, and um, things are looking up, but they they. Um, they know what they're doing. Um, I'm trying to take them down with with, with MGs, but they uh, at the right time they they go for cover, repair, and come back with a vengeance. And I knew they're gonna be uh, they're gonna be coming back and they're trying to flank us because we we did have uh, decent people up front. So they would they would they, they did what I would do. So uh, I expected them there and. Uh, I got one guy at some point, but then I screwed up. I was the guy at the back, and uh, the timing was not in my favor. I uh, I got shot just as the the chopper appeared, and they stole our hint, which is what I tried to avoid. And uh, you know, it was back to me trying to take them down and failing. And I really, really hated this guy. Okay, so the Rindigling guy and, and Marco Muppet, these guys destroyed us. And um, they weren't nasty, they were, uh, uh, they actually s uh, stuck around when they didn't have enough players. They, they lost a few games in a row and they still uh, kept on playing. I really enjoyed playing with these guys. But um, usually I, I like to gun, usually I like to push forward, use my smoke and, and do this. But the the game evolved in such a way that I knew that we had to do exactly the same as what they did. So I was very much at the back. And now uh, I'd like to give you a few tips on how to pilot, although I, I don't pilot all that much, but um, I'll try. So the, the key to success to pilot against decent people, like, like, like in this case, is to be three to a chopper. Now you will see a lot of Blueberry joining our chopper, which was essentially us losing people uh, on the front lines. Um, you will see me being very, very defensive. Uh, I'm always at the back, 
and you see that uh, Patris, uh, he's been bitching about me, you know, being on you know, a constant yeah, move. Yeah, he was trying to do uh, his Gustav stuff, which is his role because he is the engineer who has armor and, uh, you know, takes care of repairing after we get hit. Um, if you have armor, you are only vulnerable to a one hit kill if the opposing team has uh, Explosive Mark II equipped. Um, which not many people do because, you know, people love their uh, their magnum ammo. But yeah, it's, it's still um, um, possible. Um, and then you have the gunner who needs to take um, uh, explosive warheads, or was it... Well, warheads probably, not... I don't, maybe explosive warheads. I don't know what it's called. It's the last perk, so it's a vehicle perk. And... Um, it makes him take out enemies um, better, easier. Um, and I'm being way far back. If we were to be a little aggressive, um, I would go forward. But I was really scared. Um, so I went back. This is, again, Patres hitting the, the chopper because I'm in a constant move. Um, and as a chopper uh, pilot, you want to equip smoke. Um, because uh, it's very likely that you're going to get traced and uh, I've edited out a lot of uh, traces because it happened when nothing else happened and this was uh, this was uh, us getting killed by somebody who pushed up so even though I was at the back they still got us, I, I couldn't see it so that's another thing, you want to use external view and you want to make sure you see where the enemies are shooting from unless you are being aggressive if you if you push up then you just have to be on a constant move and you you won't see much but you know the bad thing to do is continue on a trajectory as a pilot so this would be bad usually um, you can even go fast it doesn't matter if you're going the same direction all the time you are vulnerable to a 84 takedown um, you also want to um, be aware that the fastest way to uh, dodge a rocket is going down and uh, that goes both ways if you're shooting an 84 um, it's good to aim low and then do the quick like like it just happened there because people usually dodge down so they will help you uh, <laughs> dodging down into your rocket um, it happens especially uh, well I just didn't do that now but usually when I get traced I usually just dive down it's faster than going up um, but of course it's I was already moving some direction so it was natural to just keep doing that you want to immediately dodge after you get traced because many times I don't know if the missiles are still locked on or if just people get a chance to get you because uh, you're you're static but as soon as you get traced you want to dodge that you know uh, use the the smoke as soon as possible and, and dodge it away from there um, you see that we have two blueberries in in the chopper now they're completely useless still have 40 tickets I'm still being very cautious not pushing up and uh, you know, boss didn't have that many kills um, because of this. Uh, he was also lagging terribly. So you know, we we didn't do as hot as as uh, the other guys did. They had like I, I don't remember, but they had like seven thousand points each, uh, maybe more. And they 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 got a lot of kills. Uh, we didn't get that many kills. Uh, it, Um, I mean, we, we we didn't do too much of a good job. Like our purpose was to clean up so people could push up, and I was probably too too defensive there. So the tickets are running down. Um, we are, I think, down to twenty tickets when I decide to finally push forward. Uh, we get we get shot from somebody who pushed up again. But this time, um, I don't know how, how come that we got so little 
uh, damage, but um, yeah, Arthur's repairs us, and we're off to a new star. You can see that many engineers switched and uh, focused on us rather than the objective. Um, but this is when I decide to push up and you will see that I lose the overview quite a lot. So what I'm doing is, you know, going up and down and uh, you don't want to be circling even if you're going fast. It's, it's very easy to predict where you're going to be. So just being a fly is a good tactic. Um, and always try to have your gunner have a clear view. So you need to go back instead of turning and that kind of thing. Um, I also don't... Um, I mean, it is a weakness of mine, but I always try to uh, defend by <laughs> having the gunner take care of the threat rather than, um, you know, hiding. Um, so instead of flying away to hide uh, because an MG is taking down, I just tell the gunner, you know, that's your priority. Get rid of that uh, that um, MG, and then we, we get repaired. And uh, we got taken down, and it's one of the one of those cases where you. Although you get out, uh, you, you blow up with the chopper. I still suck at keeping in cover. I just I have this uh, enemy territory syndrome where I just go out in the open and get shot. Uh, we tried to use a use a tank, and I have to admit to actually even shooting the uh, the MCOM. I was that desperate, so I was being a bastard. <laughs> I was being somebody who I hate playing against because these guys were good they were really good and so we try to push up with the tank I can't get any kills and we get we get blown out and so at the end of the at the end of the game uh, I try to push up I get taken down as always it's, there's just they're, they're sitting there they're well set up miss this guy once but I take him down but um, I failed to push up uh, the rest of the game was uh, was done by the blueberries so props to them uh, I do at least manage to get some revenge on the choppers I'm not sure if it's the same guys probably Yeah, they, they all got out, so I don't know. But it's probably the two guys <laughs> that pissed me off. So it's his last, but we, but we did win. Very barely, and uh, I was not... <laughs> I didn't get an ace, and I didn't get a decent ratio, but it was pretty, pretty cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed, even when I... Uh, when I pretty much sucked worst in the squad but I did do a fair bit of piloting and uh, take care